Hey guys, happy Friday. I am so excited for today's class. Hi Stan, Merv, Melanie, Eleni, Josie, everyone. Hi, so nice to see you again. I've missed you guys every day. So today we are burning our body. We're sculpting and toning full body, starting with glutes, getting into core, and then finishing with arms. We're going to start standing to, to warm up, <laughs> to warm up our hips, wrists, everything, our low back, and then we're diving right into it. So for those that have done this before, you know it's coming. Let's um, make sure that we're going at a good pace I'm a guide for you, my, my tempo is a guide, but if you need to take it to count slower, do it. Um, but just listen to your body at all times. Stop when you need to, take rest, drink a lot of water. And um, again, I'm not playing music, so you may wanna put on a playlist for this one. I wish I could share this playlist that I'm listening to right now. My sister made it, and it's just so fire. So if you want it on Apple Music, send me a message and I'll share it with you. Let's get started. Stand up. We're gonna head to our mat eventually, but we're gonna start standing. Go to something you can stabilize yourself on, a wall, a chair, anything. Okay, let's get going. Laura, David, hello. Hope you guys are all feeling good. Okay. So we're uh, wide with our legs. You can have them parallel and slightly even immediately rotated. Your hands are gonna go um, onto your stability point. You're gonna bend your knees around your spine and you're gonna take the standing cat cow here. So just feel it out, feel the round flexion of your core, the rounding of your low back. Just getting any kinks out, stretching through the spine. And then you're gonna roll up, round up into extension, finding neutral, then beginning to open up the chest, sticking the chin up. Repeat, bend. And roll up, find extension. Do this two more times. extension through the back of the leg, stretching through the hamstrings, and then bending. Just a bend in the stretch. You can round your spine here if it's too much pressure on the low back. You can even bring your hands down to the mat if you want a deeper stretch. Let's go for eight, seven, six, and five, and four, three, two, and one. You're going to go over to the right knee. Bend through center left. Take your time each side. You may feel sensation of your hips popping. I've already done that this morning. I've gotten all the, the noise out of my body. So if you wanna hold one side and just pulse there for a moment, you can do that. Let's go for four counts. Three, two, targeting the inner thigh and groin, one, Center, we turn the legs out, laterally rotated. Again, your hands can be down on the floor or on the wall. We're gonna bend the knees, knees go wide, and we stretch, targeting the outside of the hips, and stretch. Let's go for four, for three, for two, for one, and turn the feet in. Roll up through the spine, reach the arms up, spread the fingers and bring the arms down, rolling the shoulders up and back for a count of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, roll the shoulders up and back, just release the head down, rolling it out side to side. Maybe you've already done this this morning. Roll the arms up and back, getting that mobility in the shoulders for a four, for a three, spread the fingers two, and one. We're gonna step that right leg forward, left leg back. Bend into both knees and find that isolation in the pelvis neutral. Keeping that low back nice and straight. Getting deep into the hip flexor for six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees, 
Step it in, other leg. Drop a little bend, tuck under, and pulse. Getting that long stretch through the quad into that hip. For five, four, three, two, one. Bring yourself forward. Kick your bum nice and gentle, keeping the legs going straight back. Heel straight back to the bum. Don't twist the knee at all. Getting that stretch of the quad. We've been walking a lot, maybe running. Three, two, one more. All right. Grab some water if you need it. We're going to come down to our mat, but before we do so, let's just isolate our wrists. We're going to be putting, you know, pressure on our wrists. So let's just warm them up, spraying the fingers. Going in the other way when you're ready. And then I want you to find flex and a point. Flex up, point down. Let's go four, three, two, one. Coming to the back of your mat, hip distance apart. You're going to reach your arms up with a big breath in. Exhale, hands to your heart center, sigh of the air. <sighs> Do that again, big breath in. And exhale, reach the arms up. Bend the knees, round the spine, drop chin into chest, and peel your spine down. Dropping your head, dropping your arms, walking forward into high plank. So in high plank, you can start modified with your knees down. Let's find our alignment of hands under shoulders. Keep them nice and wide to begin. I'm ready to fire up, so I'm going to go straight into my high plank, beginning to firm up my legs. So squeezing my legs, squeezing my glutes, pressing through the back of my heels against the wall behind, staying lifted out of my shoulder blades, bringing the weight primarily into my fingertips and growing tall out of the mat, finding the center line of my body, my core, and sucking everything into the center, firming up the body for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the legs just a little bit wider than hip distance. Don't drop down yet. Go into your hover. Bending the knees, keeping that spine straight, low back straight. We're holding for eight, seven, six, five, for four, three, two. Walk the legs straight back on one. Bring them wider, just about mat width. You're going to bring your bum low. You're going to bend your knees, bend back. And then using your core, you're going to spring yourself forward, sucking in the abs. Bend back, launch. Bend back and launch. Let's go for a five. Use those abs. Three, two, one. Hold. Bring those legs back together for eight, seven, six. Five, for four, three, two, one. Drop the knees down, sit on those heels, and find child's pose. Take this moment to establish the breath in your body, the breath in your spine and in your rib cage. Three more deep inhales and exhales. When you're ready, tabletop. You can start on your wrist, sorry, start on your fist to give your wrist a moment. My right leg is going to come more into the midline and I'm going to transfer the weight to the right leg and send my left leg back, keeping my hips parallel and square. The left leg is going to lift off. I'm going to firm up the leg. I'm going to stretch it as much as I can, maintaining a neutral spine, neutral back. I'm going to squeeze the leg and squeeze the glute. I want you to feel the length coming from the forehead all the way out to the pinky toe. One straight line that's pulling in each direction. Drop that leg down parallel, lift it up and squeeze the glute. Tap and then squeeze, tap and then squeeze. Keep going with the leg, but just mindfully think what else should be working here. Our abs should be pulling in, belly button to spine. 
Full engage. Time to go. You're going to keep that leg up on one. You're going to squeeze the glute and take micro pulses. Up, up, up. It's tiny. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. As you drop that leg, you're going to bring it in line with the shoulder down. You're going to laterally turn it out so the knee is now facing the wall. Lift that leg up, firm it up, squeeze the glute, and then tap it down, lifting it up and lower. Up and lower. There's no kick. It's always a lift and resist squeeze. Lift and resist squeeze. We get 10. You're gonna hold that leg up, you're gonna firm it up and then take micro pulses, squeezing the side of the glute. For 10. Internally rota rotate that leg, bend the knee into the body, round the spine, knee to nose. Find flexion, look at your knee. Send that leg back, lengthen the muscle, lengthen the hip flexor long, squeeze that glute, then slowly round it into the spine, sucking in the core. One more, inhale, lengthen. Bring that leg all the way back, squeeze. And now as you bend that knee into the body, you're gonna twist through the torso, twist the, to the hips. Bring that knee to the outside of the elbow and pulse that knee across the room and sucking the core. Putting pressure on the abs for eight. Two, one, send the leg back, squeeze that glute and then twist through center. Inhale, lengthen it back. Twist through center, squeeze. We have eight to go. Let your body move and rotate with this movement. We're not staying still. The last one, you're gonna hold that knee to the outside of the elbow, round the spine and pulse the knee in. Notice if you're holding tension in the neck, just let it go. Keep your eye gaze down, just follow along to my voice. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Send that leg back, turn it out. You're gonna come down to your supporting elbow. That leg is still turned out. You're gonna bend up that knee and then you're gonna tap that foot down and lift it up, squeeze. Tap that foot down, lift up, squeeze. Getting into the outside of the glute muscle, squeezing it up. Eight to go. We have three, two. You're gonna hold it straight up there, take micro pulses, squeezing the hamstrings, squeezing that glute muscle. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. From here, we're gonna stretch it out. We're gonna bend, and then using our core, we're gonna bend the leg to the side. We're gonna tap the leg down. Using our abs, we're gonna lift it back up. We're gonna bend the knee. Send it to the back and squeeze. Bend to the side, stretch. Tap it down, lift. Bend to the back, squeeze. All right, you got this. Let the core take over the movement here. Of course you're working your glutes, but you need your abdominals to help you. Always keeping that spine as neutral as possible. Don't fall into extension. Don't use the low back.
Keep going, we have four more. Last two. Last one. Send the leg all the way back, flex the foot. Now you're gonna lower it all the way down. Lift it up and squeeze. Tap it down and up. Tap it down and up. Time to go. Four, three, two, keep it up there. One, pulse the leg up. Squeezing that top glute, eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knee, you're gonna crunch side body, knee to the same shoulder, stretch that leg back, squeeze the leg. Bend the knee, crunch side body, waist and stretch. Crunch side body, waist and stretch. You can keep it nice and slow, feeling every muscle. Or you can pick up the pace, crunching in, stretch, crunches in, stretch, we got 15. Four more, and three, and two, and one. From here, you're gonna bend and close the leg in. Ready to finish off with our open out, side and close, side and close, side and close, side and close. For eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, you're gonna hold it up and pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down onto both elbows. We flex that top leg up and pause. Stay out of the shoulder, stay neutral in the back. Make sure we're flexed at that knee. Flex that foot and now you want to press that heel up onto the ceiling. Feeling the sculpt right under the booty. Feel that burn, up, up. Keep it small. If I was with you in class right now, I'd put my hand right at your heel so you could press it up. Up, 10 and nine, eight, seven, four, three, two. You're gonna bring it down, tap it up. Tap it up. Maintaining the alignment of the spine, just moving the leg for 10 and up. And eight, you got this. We have three and two. Keep it there on one, we pulse it up. For eight, seven, Six and five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the leg down, up onto those hands, finding high plank. Squeeze. From here, press the weight into the right leg, lengthen the left leg back. Tap it up, tap it up. I want you to use your core. Focus on those abs. The glute's gonna squeeze regardless. Eight to go. We got four, and three, and two, and one, two, half pigeon. <sighs> All right, so far so good. You doing okay? <laughs> I can see the expression on all your face. I can feel it, I know. <laughs> leg that you just worked on. So say you started with that left leg back, then your left leg's in half pigeon. We're going to stay on this side. 
We're gonna swing our right leg around. We're gonna come to lay down on our right side body, resting on our elbow. All right, so we're on our elbow, and if this is too much, you can come to lay down on your side body. I'll show you in a moment. Those legs are gonna be in front of you. So we're in a diagonal point. We can all come to lay down just to give our body a moment. Now that right leg supporting leg is gonna firm up, that left leg's gonna lift up. That hand's in front of the chest and there's gonna be no rocking of your torso whatsoever. You're gonna flex the foot forward and then you're gonna brush the leg to the back. You're gonna point the leg and you're squeeze the bum. Flex it front and back, front and back. So there is no rocking with the body. Strong, use the core. We have four, we have three. The leg is not dropping either, it's staying in one line. One, you're gonna pause, leg over leg, lift it up, three, two, one, hover, up, two, And down, we have three, we have two, we have one, and lower, we have three, two, one, and lower. Two more to go. Last one. Hover, don't drop it. Now you're gonna lift it up one count, resist. Then you're gonna lengthen it three, lengthen it two, lengthen it one, lift it up, lower, lower, lower. So let's think about those abs. You're letting your belly just hang out, pull it in tight. Use those abs. Three, two, one. Lift it up one. Lower three, two, one. If you're feeling any popping, bend the knee. Soften the joints. Two more. Last one. Then you're gonna bring that leg internally rotated in front of you. Suck in the core so much and begin your circles in towards you. We have eight, seven, Six, five, four, three. You're gonna reverse on one, other way. You got this. Eight to go. Four, three, two, one. Externally rotate, bend the knee. Take your hand, wrap it around from the inside. Around, grab your ankle, and then place that foot in front of you. Modification is dropping your knee just down to the mat. Your supporting right leg is going to firm up. You're going to suck in the abs. You're going to lift it up. I want you to focus on that inner thigh. Up and up. Up and up. So it's starting from your core. It's going down your inner thigh and you're engaging every muscle to lift it up. We have 10. 8 and 7. 6, 5, 4, 3. We circle 2 and 1. Bring it in. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Other way we go around. Use those inner thighs with the core take over. Final count. Five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it out. Come up to sit. Sitting on still the right bum. Wrapping the legs to the left and grabbing that left ankle, reaching the right arm up tall. Inhaling it up and exhale it over. Come back to center, reach a nice and long up and out. We have one more. Inhale up, exhale out. And then bring that arm down to your mat, elbow. Left arm, left leg stretches long. Get that long, long, long side body stretch. Press yourself up to sit. Butterfly your knees wide. Just releasing, giving yourself a moment. Bring the feet back in parallel, turn the hips side to side. The knees are just going to fall. And get into the side of the hips for four, three, two, one. You're going to swing your legs around and you're going to find your tabletop. Great time to grab some water if you need it. Hands on your 
shoulders, you know he's coming to fist. Left leg's gonna go to midline, right leg is going to lengthen back. And let's just find our body. Look, before we begin and add power, so you can start on your fingertips or on your wrists, sorry, your fists. From the crown of your head, your forehead, out to your pinky toe, you're lengthening in each direction. You're growing out of the shoulder blades and those abs, the lower abs are sucking in so much. Firm up the legs, squeeze the legs, squeeze the glute and then tap, lengthen up, lengthen up. You got this, you know what's coming. Follow along, use your breath, eight to go. We're gonna pulse two, we're gonna hold one, squeeze it up, 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 up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knee, round the spine, pull it into the body. Look at your knee, round more, suck in more. And then leg back, squeeze and lengthen it. And then repeat, bend the knee, round the spine in. Send it back, lengthen. Once more, bend round the spine in and squeeze, lengthen it. This time your foot is gonna go in line with your supporting shoulder. You're gonna turn it out, tap it down and then lift and squeeze. Turn it out, tap it down and lift and squeeze. Stay lifted out of that left hip. Don't sink down, stay nice and pulled up through the spine, through the core. You can keep your knees bent. Otherwise, if it's comfortable, you're gonna firm up the leg as straight as you can in extension. Squeezing that hamstring, squeezing that glute. We have eight to go. And keep it up on one, pulse it up, small, squeeze. Up, up, get into that side glute, squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, three, two, internally rotate one. Just twist at the hips and bring that knee to the outside of the elbow. Round the spine, suck in and take tiny pulses that knee out. Pressures on the abs in that waistline. Stay rounded through the shoulders, pulsing here at 10. Three, two, we send that leg back, we squeeze. We twist it in, lengthen it back, squeeze, twist it in. Keep breathing. Get that knee further each time to the outside of the arm. We're gonna pulse in five, four. Don't just kick it, stretch and squeeze that leg. Hamstring, calf, everything. Obviously the glute. One more. I'm gonna keep that knee into the body, tiny pulses in. Round and pulse, eight. Three, two, one, stretch the leg back, turn it out. Come down onto your supporting elbow and bend the knee. That leg's gonna go half down and then you're gonna squeeze that top glute. Half down and squeeze, half down and squeeze. So feeling this knee outside of the glute, it up, lower, up. Let's think about those abs. Are we sucking in? It's our core nice and strong. You have eight to go. Four more. You got it, three, two. We're gonna hold it there, one small pulses up that glute, engage. Up, 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 suck in, 10. Four. Three, two, one, we stretch the leg back. We squeeze and engage it. 
we bend the leg to the side. We stretch it out to the side. Our core is going to take over here as we tap it down. We lift it up. We bend it to the back and we squeeze that leg and glute. Let the core take over. Bend to the side. Tap it down. Let the obliques lift it up. Bend it to the back and squeeze. All right, you got this. Don't rush it. Feel every muscle. Feel your core take over. Keep breathing. We have five to go. Keeping your eye gaze down, don't twist your neck. You got this, last two. One more. Keep the leg all the way to the back, flex the foot, tap it down. Lift up, squeeze that glute. Tap it down. Lift up, squeeze. Tap and squeeze it up. Tap. Squeeze that top leg. Ten to go. Up and nine. Up and eight. Four more. Don't arch. Three. Two. Keep it there. One. We bend that knee to the shoulder. Cinch that waist. Stretch it back, squeeze that leg, cinch it in, and squeeze. Find those abs, squeeze that glute, in, and stretch, in, and stretch. We're gonna pick it up for 15. Use every muscle, 10 to go. Last four, and three, and two, and one. We're gonna bend the leg in, close it side. We open up, side and close, side and close. Squeeze that side hip and close. I want you to also use the inner thigh to lift it up and close, up and close. We got it, 10 more, nine. Keep those abs in. For five, and four, for three, two, one. We pulse, up, squeeze, up, up. Don't drop it yet. And four, and three, and two, and one. Lower down onto both elbows. Okay, you know what's coming. So let's find space in our shoulders. To lift that leg, keeping the low back nice and neutral, bending at that knee, flexing that foot, heel up onto ceiling, take the up, suck it in, pulse that foot up, 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 hamstring on, under the booty, sculpting, up, up, let's go, 10 more, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, knee taps, we lift it up, tap it down, and up. Stay out of that right supporting side. Using the core, using the torso, tap it up. Again, if I was in class with you, my foot, my hand would be hovering over your foot. You'd be pressing my hand up. Tap and press, get under the glute and press. Keep those lower abs sucking in. Five, four, three, two, we hold it on one, tiny pulses up and up. Final count. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stretch it back, up onto those hands right away, find your plank. Transfer the weight to the left leg, right leg lengthens the back. We squeeze and lower, use the core. Up, up. Keep sucking in. Last 10. Four, 
three, two, one, half pigeon. All right, you did it. So good. Nice work, everyone. Take a moment. Deep breaths. Second side's always easier. Maybe I don't do as many reps, but it just seems easier for some reason. Maybe it's because we know it's coming.
Exhale, keeping your shoulders square to the front, reach nice and long. Back to center, grabbing that ankle, inhale up. Exhale over. <sighs> One more to go, getting that long stretch through the side body, inhale up. Exhale it over. Take that arm all the way down to your mat. Stretch your right arm and leg overhead. And then you're gonna roll on to your bum. Legs out wide, you're gonna immediately rotate your knees inwards. So we're targeting the hip flexors and the outer hips. Just giving it a moment of stretch. Core is coming up next. We're gonna stretch our legs first, behind the, hip, behind the legs, the hamstrings, flexing the feet, reaching the arms up, and over. You can bend your knees here, just release your eye beads down. You can round your spine here, just get that stretch however you need it, maybe more prominent spine, or maybe more back of the legs, whatever is best for you. You're gonna roll yourself up, and we're gonna take a Pilates roll down to our back. So you're gonna flex your feet, you're gonna reach your arms straight out in front of you. Starting neutral, moving into your C-curve spine. Inhale to begin. Exhale, round your spine, tucking your bum under, dropping chin to chest. Using the arms for opposition, reaching forward. Rolling all the way down to your spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, imprinting as you go. Slowly releasing down. And bringing your hands to your side, bending the knees into the chest. You can take a little micro rock side to side, massaging up the low back. And let's begin to fire up those abs. So we are going to Find our imprint position, meaning our entire spine is flat into the mat. Shoulders are heavy into the mat. We're gonna flex our feet and find tabletop. Knees over hips, this is our starting position. Legs are just open hip distance apart. And then from here, you're gonna stretch your legs out together and point your toes. As soon as you bend your knees into the body, you flex your feet, but just return to that tabletop. You can keep your hands there to know when to stop the bend. Stretch and point, squeeze your legs, suck in the core, bend the knees back into the body. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, bend in. Maybe place your hands on your belly to feel your abs sucking in, to feel how strong your core is. Bend in, and then stretch point. We have eight to go. straight out there. You're going to lift them up, toes over hips. You're going to open the legs out apart, straddle. And then that straddle is going to meet on a diagonal point. You can bend your knees to release the hip flexors. Lift the legs up, open them out, and then long point diagonal. Otherwise, the legs are straight and you're sucking in those lower abs. Up and open, meet together. Inhale up. Exhale together. Two more. We're going to reverse for four. Exhale down. For three. Two. One. Bend the knees into the body. Curl yourself up, place your hands behind your head. Palm over palm, right at the base of your head and neck. And you can keep the knees flexed in tabletop or stretch them up, just depending on how your hips are feeling. Take imprint, take your lower abs, suck them in, keep the eyes forward, space between the chin and the chest. And then you're gonna lower your legs halfway down, squeezing the glutes, sucking in those lower abs. Taking it so slow to lift your legs back up, toes over hips. Feeling like you're anchoring your tailbone and hips into the mat. 
as you resist the legs back into the body. Using those lower abdominals, exhale down. Inhale, lift back up. You got this, let's go for five. Two more. Last one. Lower your head down, bend your knees into the body and place the feet down onto the mat. Maintaining imprint, you're gonna curl back up. You're off those shoulders as much as possible. You're sucking in and you're taking micro pulses from here. Exhale, exhale, keep pulling the abs in. Ten more. Three and two, stay there, twist left. Back to center, we twist your right. Back to center, keep going. Getting into those side obliques, I want you to feel yourself suck in in that side waist. And twist, and twist, and twist. Keep the hips even, don't lift them off. Take it nice and slow for five, for four, three, Two more. Last one. Back to center. Keep imprinting. Right? We haven't dropped yet. Micro pulses forward. Keep sucking in. Feel this in those lower abs. Those obliques working so hard. Final ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. We release down, we take a nice stretch, letting the spine arch. <sighs> Let's do another deep breath in. Exhale out. Finishing off with our teasers, bringing our legs together. To make it harder, you're gonna walk the feet in closer to the bum. To make it slightly easier, you're gonna bring the legs down towards the mat. Now you're not going to let your feet lift off the mat and you're not going to let the knees open out. Everything stays tight in the center line of your body. Your arms lift up above the chest and you lift up as much as you can and then you roll back down the spine. So you peel the spine off the mat, rolling up using the abs and then you roll the spine back down. Using the breath, using the control, we have four more. Make sure those eyes are forward, never onto the ceiling. Of course, yes, as you start, but as soon as you lift into flexion, your eyes go forward in the direction you want to go. We're gonna stretch our right leg straight up and we're gonna keep the thighs and knees touching. That left foot is gonna stay glued to the mat and you're gonna roll up the spine and then roll down the spine. Rolling up off and then rolling back down. Two more. Place your right foot down, stretch the left leg out, thighs and knees are glued, right foot is anchored. We roll up off the spine. And then you roll down. Last two. Last one. Take a long full body stretch, reaching your feet forward, reaching your arms behind you.
bend your right leg, keep your left arm overhead, and then use your arm to push you up over onto your belly, bringing your hands by your rib cage, rolling your shoulders up and back, pinching the shoulder blades together, keeping the neck long, eyes down, spreading your fingers wide and pressing them into the mat, anchoring your legs and sucking in the belly. We're ready for our cobra. Inhaling to lift through the top and middle of the spine. Exhale to lengthen longer and more forward as you lower down. Two more. Inhaling up. Pushing yourself back to child's pose for three full breaths. One more together. Moving into our final portion of today, meeting in our modified plank. Bringing our hands wide and shoulders, spreading the fingers out. Finding our level hip flexors, squeezing the glutes. Taking those abs, sucking them in. The elbows are going to go wide, inhaling down, exhale, press back up. Inhale down, exhale, press. Using those abs for control, using those glutes, squeeze them together. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push yourself back for two full breaths in. One more. Rolling yourself forward, bringing the hands right under the shoulders, leveling out the hip flexors, cover the toes. Elbows are going to brush by the rib cage. Inhaling down, exhale, press. The spine stays straight and you press. Inhale down, exhale, press, gripping the fingers into the mat. Next one, you're going to lower all the way down, press the legs, lifting up into your cobra, making your way to downward dog. Doing that long stretch in the hamstrings, taking what you need here, sway or pedal out, bringing the legs to touch. Lifting the right leg up, bending the knee and kicking the bum, getting that stretch through the quad. Keeping that heel where it is and then lifting up the knee. From here, opening up the hip to the side wall. Stretching the leg out straight, keeping the shoulders square, pointing the toes. And then internally rotating the leg down, stepping on that foot. Lifting the leg up, bending the knee, kicking the bum. Keeping that heel where it is, lift up the knee, open up the hip, and from here, stretch the leg up, point the toes, internally rotate the legs down, level out the hip flexors in high plank, go back to downward dog, and walk your hands back to your feet. From here, you can keep the legs straight or bend and grab the elbows. Shaking out the spine, swaying side to side, forward and back. Letting go of the neck, sighing it out. Do what you need to do. Bend the 
the knees. You're gonna roll up for a count of eight, head up last. Five, four, inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, hand to heart center. Interlace the fingers, press the hands down. Inhale the arms up, ground down into the knees, bend the knees, and then lift up more in the side, in the body, and then get that side body stretch over. Back to center, other way. Spread the fingers, look up, bend the elbows, open up the chest, peel those shoulder blades together, resist the elbows into the body. Keep the chest open, keep the shoulders where they are, stretch the arms down, bring the hips forward, bring the ribs in, rotate at the forearms, roll the shoulders up and back, bring the chin closer into the body, feel your alignment of your spine. Take a breath in, sigh of the air, and now you're ready to go about your Friday. Nice and sweaty, nice and sculpted and toned. Thank you so much for sticking with me. And um, yeah, have an incredible Friday. The next time I'm gonna see you all is Sunday, Sunday stretch. So to all those mothers, until then, happy Mother's Day. And for everyone, just have an amazing Friday. And send me a message if you have any questions about anything. Lots of love to all of you.